Here is a simple guide to taking your motorcycle on a channel tunnel train. It's really very easy. This was a very quiet day, but the tunnel can get very busy and queues of about 30 minutes to get to the check-in booths are not unusual, especially during school holidays. So make sure you get there in good time. When you arrive at the self-service check-in booths, you will need the booking reference number for your journey. I normally have it ready on a small piece of paper. Enter that number into the machine and then follow all instructions questions on the screen. The machine prints out a hanger. Fix this to the front of your motorcycle. I find a bulldog clip comes in very useful to do this. You don't normally go straight to your train, but instead make your way to the terminal building to wait there. Park up, get a drink, do some shopping, or just talk to your mates. The large information screens tell you about the boarding time for your train. When the large information screens tell you it's time, get back on your bike and follow the signs towards France and the trains. Don't be late. Then you need to show your passport, first to the UK Border Force people. Quick tip here, yes I know often on a motorcycle there is nowhere handy to keep your passport as you get to the passport booth, but never put it between your teeth. The Border Force people hate that. And then you have to do the same for the French Border Force officers. It's very handy they do this in England because then you don't have to do it again when you get off the train in France. Next you ride to the pre-boarding lanes. The person will check your hangar and tell you which lane to use. Today he told us to use lane 8. Get off your bikes, walk around, but be ready to move at a moment's notice. Then when told to, you make your way to the train. This always takes longer than you think. 
they let all of the cars on first because motorcycles are always boarded at the back of the train. So don't get frustrated when lots of cars get let in front of you. This is quite normal. You ride down the ramp to get to platform level. When told, you ride onto the train. There is no rush, so take your time. Unlike the bike in front, it is best to ride down the right hand side of the train as this will help when you park your bike. Never ride down the centre metal plates. When directed by the train staff, park your bike facing to the left with your front wheel against the kerb and leave your bike in first gear on the side stand. The train normally takes about 35 minutes. There are toilets, but nowhere to sit and nowhere to get a drink, so take your own. Leaving the train is the opposite of getting on. Just ride through the train and ride off at the side at the front of the train. A tip here. The train is long and it's best to keep a space between you and the bike in front of you. That way, if the bike in front slows down or even comes to a stop, you can adjust your speed with the space that you need. Ride up the ramp and as soon as you get to the top, you are free to ride away and start your journey in France. Almost straight away there is a petrol station on the left side of the road in case you need it. Enjoy your ride!